guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I'm going to be sharing a collective haul of some items that I found on clearance over the past couple of weeks. And a few of the items aren't on clearance, but they are things that I needed. So I hope you enjoy this small little haul, and let's get started. So here is my favorite hand soap in all the land. It's called Lavender Geranium, and it's by HL Apothecary. And I typically pick this up from TJ Maxx and Home Goods, but I can only find one bottle at a time, and it's very rare that I can get the bottles. So I went online and looked up the brand and found a site called Sierra Trading Post that actually sold them for the exact same price that Home Goods was selling them for. It's a 32 fluid ounce bottle, and Home Goods sells them for $7.99 a bottle and they typically run $14 a bottle. And I found out that they were being discontinued, so your girl had to buy all 12 bottles. Now the big decision is, do I put these, put one in each one of the bathrooms in my home? If I do that, then it would only last for about a year, or do I just take one bottle and put it on my sink in my bathroom, and then that way I can make them last for at least three years. The next item I'm super excited about is this Veggie Bullet. Now, over the past year or so, I really got into spiralizing zucchini noodles and using them in place of pasta, and I wanted to make sure that I would actually keep up with it. I had a manual one. I didn't want to invest a lot of money until I knew it was something that I could do, and I have been keeping up with it, so I was super excited to find these Veggie Bullet um, machines on clearance and Marshalls and these typically run about 150 bucks. I've seen tons of great reviews online about them and they were just $38 on clearance. So I picked up one for myself and I got another one for my oldest daughter in college, Taylor, and I'm going to put that in her Valentine's Day care package that I'll send off to college. Her and I are kind of keeping each other inspired. When she came home for the winter break, she was like, Mom, you look so good. You know, you got me inspired. When I get back to school, I'm really going to get on it. So she's been back at school. She's been meal prepping, very impressed with her meal prepping, eating healthy. She's even gotten a personal trainer. She saved up some of her money that she made over her internship over the break. And she's really, really, really been doing her thing. So she's keeping me inspired. I'm going to send her this so she can make some healthy meals. Meals. I picked up this popcorn maker from Target on clearance and it was $13.98. Again, keeping up with our health kick, I just wanted to start making some healthier snacks and popcorn, fresh popcorn is on the list. Keeping up with my Marshall purchases, I picked up these little Adidas slides. They were $12.99 for Reagan and these are going to go in her Valentine's Day gift basket. Now she wanted some of these Adidas slides for track. I picked up this wonderful candle. The scent is called Clementine Lemon and it smells so fresh. And this is the perfect fragrance for spring. This is actually from TJ Maxx, not Marshalls, but I consider them one and the same. And then I picked up this mandarin and basil. I'm just loving uh, these types of fragrances for the springtime. They just make your kitchen smell so fresh. So that's what I'll be putting in my kitchen. And I love the Shea Moisture brand. Uh, you know, their line of everything. I like their soaps, their body washes, their lotions, their hair products. And I picked up this coconut and hibiscus brightening body lotion. And during the winter months, my skin is extremely dry. I like to pick these up from Marshalls and TJ Maxx when I can find them because that is the best deal. That's where you get the best value because in Target and Walmart and other places, you're going to pay a lot more. And then I picked up the Shea Moisture Eucalyptus and African Water Mint Baby Lotion. And I'm actually using it as a hand lotion. And I keep this one in my car. And I've already been using it. And that's $3.99. Okay, moving right along. My mom picked me up this bacon server and it's from mud pie and it says better with bacon this came from tuesday morning 
and it was $9.99. Now, uh, a little tip about Mud Pie. I love the Mud Pie brand of items. You'll find it in stores like Dillard's, Macy's. You oftentimes find it in little one-off boutiques, and it's all more expensive in those places. If you can find Mud Pie in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Tuesday morning, you will make out uh, much better in terms of pricing. This was $9.99, and in the stores that I just mentioned before, they do definitely run for $21. You might catch a 20% off sale, but um, you won't beat those prices. It kind of looks like an asparagus server, but you know, they're just tongs that you pick up bacon with. Also from the Mud Pie collection, I have these beautiful linen monogram hand stitch napkins, and these will be on my table for the springtime. I bought two sets for a total of eight. I picked up this little raccoon sleeping mask and fuzzy slipper socks for my niece for Valentine's Day and I'll be sending that off to her. She loves, uh, you know, animals and things like that. And I picked up a pair of earbuds for Ray and these will also go in her uh, Valentine's Day gift basket. And when I put together their gift baskets, I try to stay in the neighborhood of $50 or less and buy items that I know that they will need. I picked up some more uh, hooks and I love these. I think I shared these with you several years back and the brand I shared was Monkey Hooks, I believe. Uh, they come in different type brands, but they all do the same thing. You kind of just stick this in the wall and you can just hang your pictures and things from that. I will show you how I use these in a future video, but these are one of the world's greatest inventions. So here are the items I picked up from the Dollar Tree. The first item is this flower sack towel. It says don't flip out. And I'm going to give this to my husband for Father's Day along with some other items for his grill outside. And he always grabs my nice towels and it just makes me so angry. So I picked up a few of these so he could have them for the grill this summer. Then they also had this cute flower sack towel in the Dollar Tree. You guys know I absolutely love anything dish or utensil related and it said i'm sorry for what i said when i was hungry and i picked this up and this will just you know be a decorative towel that will hang over the um, handle of the stove i picked up these two chocolate candies to go in my daughter's uh, both of my daughter's uh, valentine's day package this one right here says llama queen and that's for taylor my oldest daughter and she is quite the drama queen and this one here says you're a pineapple and that one's for Reagan and they had some other ones there that were for guys they were all sports themed and they were really really cute I almost fainted when I saw these in the Dollar Tree these are one of my absolute favorite cookies if you guys been with me for a while a few years back I shared with you a birthday brunch that I did that was completely inspired by these cookies. I was so happy that the Dollar Tree sold these in individual, um, you know, packets because when I buy the entire box, I will eat the entire box in one sitting. And I'm trying to do really good with what I eat, so I limited myself to purchasing one package. And the final two items I purchased from the Dollar Tree are these word search pocket puzzles. And I'm also going to include these in both of my daughter's Valentine's Day gift baskets. And I don't know how well these clothing items are going to show up on camera. I picked up these high-waisted wide leg lavender uh, pants and I just love the little button, um, gold button details on them. They're just really classy and um, you know, simple. And I was thinking about doing a video on how to not break the bank when you're trying to lose weight and have to kind of re-update your wardrobe from time to time as the weight comes off. And let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video like that. 
these are pretty wrinkled right now but you know I'll have those all pressed out but these are really really nice and I have a bit of a tummy so if you're an apple shaped person um, you know wearing pants that have a band um, like this will kind of help smooth and flatten you out and so I can share some tips and tricks on how I dress to look a little bit thinner than what I actually am and the last clothing item I picked up, I picked these up from Target on clearance. And these are some high-waisted mom jeans. And they were on clearance for $11. And these fit me really, really nicely. They're high-waisted and they're kind of, you know, loose baggy. Forget the wrinkles. They were kind of wrinkled up on the rack, but I'll iron them out. And again, if you'd like to see a video on how to... Um, dress a plus size person that's in transition and trying to lose some weight just leave a comment below so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not checked out my previous video on what's in my bar i did a uh, tour of my bar area in the basement please check that video out and until next time i'm going to keep calm and carry on bye guys mm -hmm.